Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs and video games, and today I'm playing Ender Lilies. Now, I was very conflicted about where to go in this episode, and I think I'm going to start by going in the verboten domain a little bit more, because we did get far. We did get a lot farther in it than I thought we could last time, so I'm going to try to get a little bit farther, but after that, I will go somewhere else probably. Also, I don't know what to do with this last shard slot that we have. I don't really want to take off anything that I have, including the Holy Spring Water. I want to keep that on because I've got the four heals, which means I'm putting on a one. And of the ones, what do I care about? I guess the Soiled Prayer Beads. All right, so let's... Let's see how far we can go in the verboten domain before moving on to somewhere that is probably more realistic for us to explore. But in the verboten domain, I think we can get further to on the right side. All right. These guys seem slow enough that Gerard can attack them, and they only attack on one side. I've noticed that they only attack on one side, so it makes it more possible for us to do things against them with Gerard. Now then. We have to be very careful of our health, because we are using our health to just get further in this area. Is there a safe spot to go down there? There kind of is, there kind of isn't. Let's not do that. I'm going to the right because to the right is the place I noticed we could potentially keep going. That guy went the wrong direction. Alright, he's down there. I do want to hit those boxes. Oh, he hit the boxes for me. How nice of him. We're not going down. Down leads nowhere. Down leads to a place that has an elevator, and the elevator leads to a locked door. We want to go this way. This way is filled with this blight haze that hurts me while I'm in it. And what I want to do is get, get down. So, avoid the enemies, go fast. Avoid the enemies, go fast. And we're going down. Keep going. Avoid those enemies. Avoid that enemy. Keep going down. Get this. That doesn't help at all, does it? Oh, it healed me. Did I just discover something I'd never realized in this game? Wait a minute. When I get an extra healing prayer... And I... Whoa, okay. That's, that's extremely important. What just happened there? I had all four of my healing prayers already filled up. And then I hit one of the white flowers. And when I did, I healed. As if I had used one of my prayers. So that's like an instant prayer usage. That's very nice in this particular area, right? All right, we used a prayer there. Get a prayer usage. And keep going down. We just have to get... We just have to get to where the next room is before we die. Instant heal? Yes! It works! It's an instant heal! Alright, so now we have almost full health and almost full prayer uses, and we've made it to this room. How about that? So he's going to explode. We need to avoid his thing. So this this part of this area, the, the part that we were just in, you want to go slow, or you want to go fast. This area, we want to go slow. And there's an extra prayer usage right there that I don't need. So I'm going to be careful not to hit it, because I might come back and get it. So we're going to the right. We've never been to the right here. 
Oh, and we found a respite. Oh, ho. that's something. Subterranean Lab B2. How about that? It's a very similar respite. The B2 respite. It has a finding. And we have to come from above here. The Verboden Domain Notice. To my esteemed colleagues, carrying out research in the Verboden Domain is an exciting prospect, but it is also a dangerous one. All mages permitted to work in the Verboden Domain must wear the mandated masks. These masks are stored in the laboratory. They are limited supply, so treat them with care. That tells us where we would potentially find a mask that we should get. Ooh, you know what? Oh, I need to show that on the bigger map. So let's go to our map. I think the way that we are supposed to get down here is by going in the down path from that other respite that is in the laboratory area. I'm highlighting that, I'm sure. Unfortunately, to do that, we need the sideways destructible attack, which I do not have. The sideways destructible attack is something that we have not discovered yet. That leads me to believe that we're going the wrong way. Among other things, among other things, leads me to believe that we are going the wrong direction in our exploration. Not that that's going to stop me from keeping on going on this way. But it does mean that we probably won't go this way extremely far. Darn, I got hit by that. We can go down here. And I do want to go down down here, right? Yes, I do. We did go this way last time, and I died in a silly way down... Oh, man. Got hit by that again. <laughs> I died in a silly way this direction last time. So we're going to try not to do that again. Don't dunk yourself in the water. Dunking yourself in the water is bad, basically. Wait for him to explode. Keep moving on. Don't go too far, though. Don't dunk yourself in the water, like we were just saying. Good. Remember to hit all of these places. We really don't want to fall in the water. It's relatively easy to dodge their explosions, even though I didn't do it a couple times here relatively easy to do so. So, below me is a whole bunch of bad stuff. I go this way. I'm going to another room. This room. This room we explored some. Ooh, I got hit by the one above me. This room we explored some last time. Too many of them attacking me there. And I felt like I got stuck by the blight areas, which, you know, is reasonable, but also I should be able to go through a blight area. As long as I don't get too hit by these guys. Okay, so what I'm aiming for is the down left path in this room. I can't exactly see where it is, is the problem. So I have to go fast, but also go where I cannot see. Is there dangerous water below me? That's my main question here. Is there dangerous water? There is. So we have to be very careful. I think that means that we have to go on this path, which seems dangerous. Oops. Oh no, we can't go that way. There's a blockade that we have to break through. Huh, that's, that's annoying. All right, check our map again. So in theory, 
we go to the right to the room we were just in and we find a different way to go through. All right, that doesn't seem like it's going to be very productive, but we're going to try it and we're probably going to die. But if we die, all we do is we we go somewhere else in the game. There are a couple places to go. It said I was conflicted before. So right below me is dangerous water. So going down right here is not how you get down and left in this room. So I need to figure out where we go to go down and left if it's not there. Where would that be? Considering all of the terrible water. Is there a way we can go down but not into the water? Huh. Doesn't look like it. Let's get this healing prayer. Yeah, I don't see a way to do that. All right. We are probably going to die, but I'm going to try to do something. And let me look at my map one more time. So, basically, every path that we haven't gone here requires a movement ability that I do not have, as far as I know. So I believe that we are actually trapped going further in the Verboten Domain, which is probably good for me because I am hurting myself a lot going here. So if I'm trapped, that means that I can go somewhere more appropriate, maybe. But let's see if we're really trapped. So what I would have to do is jump to the left. We can do this and jump to the left. Yep, we're just in the water over here. So this actually doesn't bring us anywhere helpful because it just dunks us in the water and we can't get anywhere. So let's go back to that respite that we found and teleport away from here to some place that we can actually explore because it seems like this is not the place. Fast travel. Now, other places that we could go, we could try to go... Let's see here. We, we can't go to the down left that path. So that's blocked to us. I don't know what was blocking us from going up here. Let's try to go up there. Doesn't seem like it would go anywhere, but let's try it. How do we leave this room? <laughs> it's just a room, right? This is the doorway. So the up path in this room, what does it require? Okay, the up path requires me to go through one of those locked doors that we can't go through. So that's a bust. Therefore, Let's try someplace else. This was not one of my first picks, by the way. I just noticed it on the screen. So, we can't really do much over here. We can't go to a new room over there. So my next thought is trying to go to a new room directly above this one, which is probably better if we start here. So let's try going to the right here and see how far we can get. To the right. Oh, ho didn't know if we would reach far enough to hit him. It's nice when you defeat the enemies in one hit. What is preventing us from going up and to the right? I don't remember. It could be could be the grappling hook that was preventing this. Which means we can go there now, if that was it. No, I used a healing prayer. I meant to grapple. I don't think the healing prayers will be extremely important in this particular area because this is definitely going backward. 
Oh, the spell still happened. I was curious whether the spell would still happen there. Yeah, we needed grapple, and we have that, so we can go up here. What's up here? It's at least a finding. Elaine's Diary 1. Something made me happy, so I want to take this chance to write it down. I was able to see Frisha today, for the first time in a long while. The effects of purification were so severe, she's been bedridden for some time. I can't believe they quarantined her in such a place. They're treating her more like an experiment than someone on the mend. I can't even enter without a mask. I'm not sure how long I can stay, but I want to be by her side as long as I'm allowed. It must get lonely here all by herself. Ooh, you need a mask to get there? What does that sound like? That sounds like their verboten domain. And here is a relic. Ooh, two relics. Whoa. Spellbound Anklet. Slightly increases movement and dashing speed. Hey. I was predicting before that we would get something that increases our movement speed, and look, we got it. Not that I know a place that we need it anymore. Amulet Gem. Max HP plus 20. That's huge. And what else is up here? In Lane's Diary 2... Today, Frisha gave me the necklace she was wearing. It was a gift from her mother, and I can tell she's cherished it for a long time. It's a protective heirloom, embedded with a magic stone. The stone seems to have broken when Frisha purified the Blighted Lord. I'm sorry to say that my magic alone may not be enough to repair it. I'll have to ask that fool Faden for help. And we finish this room. Okay. That is the second time, I believe, that we've heard about the Blighted Lord. Also, apparently there was a much easier way up there. <laughs> I took the hard way up by climbing on the walls. That is the second time we've heard about the Blighted Lord. We also heard about the Blighted Lord from, from something that Sylvia wrote. Sylvia wrote that... The Blighted Lord was something dangerous, and maybe Frisha, maybe she should have prevented Frisha from attacking him or something. Or trying to purify him. Something went wrong when Frisha attempted to purify the Blighted Lord. And that's pretty significant. That sounds like it could be very important for how the end of this game works because the Blighted Lord sounds like somebody that we might have to fight. I think we're blocked by one of those locked doors this way. The only way to know is to go this way and find out. Drod is usually not my... Yes, there's a locked door that way. Not to mention, how do you even get to the locked door? Can you get to it somehow by wall climbing over here? I don't know. How do you even get there? Not that we could open it if we could get there, but how do you get there? Okay, we are blocked again. That means that we need to explore... We need to explore the castle. The castle is one of the hardest places that we've explored so far. And let's go back. Seems time to go back. And if we're going back to the castle, I at least know that there's several places that we can go when we're up there. Unlike here, where I'm not sure that we can go anywhere. We're just trying it out. Whoops. Just dunked myself in the water. But we did find a couple of relics. And a couple of findings. That's huge. Or one relic, technically. A spellbound anklet. I don't think I want to put it on. Let's fast travel to the castle area, which is where? How do we get there? The way that you go around this map is very confusing to me. There we go, guest chambers. The main problem with the castle 
I guess there's there's two problems that work together. The first problem is that there's lots of difficult required fights where when you go into an arena, it locks behind you. The next problem is that the enemies are really difficult here. They have a lot of life and their attack patterns are hard. That one is not one of the enemies that I'm worried about. Though. So where do we want to go? If we could go up and to the right, that'd be great, but I think we have to go basically up as far as possible. Because I don't think we can go right up here. I think there's another locked door, if I recall. Leveled up to 81. So you... You shoot a spell at me. We'll dodge that. And Gerard can very easily take care of you. Because he can stun you while you're trying to do spells. Great. And Gerard is not the best against you, but that's who we have equipped, so I used him anyway. Dash past that. Okay, one spell, and then another spell. Good. Dodge this spell, and then hit. Great. I did not dodge that, but it didn't hurt me. It just knocked me away. I'm fine with that. So we're going up, up and then to the right to see if there's a locked door. Both of these enemies are the easy ones. I said that there were several required hard fights, and then I've been fighting only the easiest of the enemies in this area. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That is okay by me. That one is not even one of the difficult ones. Of this area, at least. Yeah, there's the locked door, as predicted. Or remembered, really, more than predicted. So, we cannot go to the to the right. That's the right. I remember what right and left are. I just get confused sometimes. So we need to go to the left and keep going up. That's what we want to do, is keep going up. I mean, not in this room. We need to go to the left first. And if we can dodge past a couple of these, it'd actually be helpful. Ooh, we got hit by that. Didn't realize it could go through walls. Now in this room, we just want to go up. And this is the wrong spirit to deal with that. That's probably good, right? Good. We can take those out. It's just a fair amount of work to take him out. You have to be vigilant the whole time, get in like one or two hits at a time, at most. So one of the things that we did previously is we opened this up path. So we have not explored much up here, and I don't know how much we could explore up here. Let's see. We're going to have to start defeating the enemies that we encounter, though. Which is hard, because these enemies are hard. Stop letting him hit you like that. Oh man, that hit me. That's not good. We don't actually have to fight that one. Let's leave. Okay. Knocked him out pretty easily, actually because apparently when he starts attacking, he just stays looking one direction. 
Let's go up in this room. Up in this room is someplace we've never been. Also, how do we get over there? There's like, oh, <laughs> we're in the middle, in the secret area, even though we couldn't open the door to the secret area from the other side. We could still get into the secret area. Worried about the one that's about to jump. Oh man, I got hit by the sword. There. One of those very difficult ones is up there. You are annoying. Not particularly difficult, but just annoying. Let's take you out. Great. Took that one out. This one is one of the enemies I find difficult. Let's just use a spell on that. Did not defeat him with that spell, by the way. Kind of need to be able to get behind him. Oh, ho knocked him down. There he goes. <laughs> Don't need to deal with him if he falls down. Okay. Dash through you. Let's get on a faster spirit. Alright, knocked him down. Don't need to deal with them if they get knocked down. So we can't go down there, which means we can't get that secret that we saw. Don't know what this does. Oh, we can go up this way. And get an amulet fragment. More max HP. And it looks like we're trapped from going up more that way. go this way, and we're going up. I believe we are going to reach the top soon. Ooh, we found a respite. Oh, oh. Very nice to find a respite in this area. Ooh, with, with a priestess's wish. That's huge, too. Prayer Restoration Plus. And a finding? Priestess's Castle Memo. Why was I chosen by the king? Is it because I was the first white priestess born among my sisters? I wonder if my other siblings are still down below. All I can do is tidy up the room mother used to occupy. It will be ready for her when she returns. So who was your mother? Was it Frisha or was it some other white priestess? Very curious. Now, while we are here, I actually want to look at my pause screen for a second. Hold on, how do we get there? This one. So how much prayer potency do we have? 238. 238 prayer potency and 346 life. Okay. This is going great in terms of survivability. Let's keep going up. Okay. There's something immediately below me. But there's also... We can go up here, but we can't do anything. So, what's this? Stagnant Blight times 10. Great. Another Stagnant Blight times 10. All right. Getting worried. Stagnant Blight times 10. Stagnant Blight times 10. There was a great battle here. Stagnant Blight times 10. And then that's definitely a special enemy. Okay, what do we need? Let's start with these. One-Eyed Royal Aegis. Mainly, let's stay away from him, unless he's actively attacking. What is that? Okay, it's a gigantic shockwave. Okay. Try to get out of the way. That was a normal shockwave. So they can do the normal shockwaves and a gigantic shockwave. Overall, this is going okay. Haven't gotten hit by it. But also... 
not dealing damage very quickly. Perfect. Gigantic Shockwave. Okay. Normal Shockwave. Ooh, I got hit by that. Should have expected that. Honestly. Need to get behind him, like this. Darn. I knew he was going to do that. Why did I get hit by it? It's okay. Totally winning this fight. Gigantic shockwave. Normal shockwave. This is a gigantic shockwave. Get out of the way. Just want you to do that. Great. One-eyed Aegis. Touch his face. I'm I'm not done yet. The king. I must find the king. He was probably one of the personal guards of the king. One-eyed Royal Aegis. The giant knight thrust his great sword into the ground, creating a shockwave that launches surrounding enemies into the air. Royal Aegis Elite tasked with protecting the king, I was right, defended the castle during the reign, only to be betrayed by one of his peers, consumed by madness. Who betrayed you? And then more stagnant blight. Even more stagnant blight. So the blight is just all over the place up here. Even if they can't die, this is still slaughter. So up here there is another stagnant blight. I don't know if I'm supposed to go to the left here or down there. Down. Down did lead me to where I wanted to go, I guess. I guess? Yeah, I guess so. We did finish the room up there. Let's get this heal. Come at me. Good. And I do want to explore this room. I don't really know what's up here. I see a thing right there that I want. How do we navigate this room? So far it's been pretty confusing. There are kind of these normal knights. I can get all three of them in the same place. Let's do one of these. I like that. See, we need we need the way to destroy sideways barriers a lot. Where is that? I have not found it. That is an archer. There are two archers. Don't like the two archers. There we go. Zero archers. I like zero archers. There's also a secret up there that we need the sideways destructible to get to. Need to find that. Another respite. Happy to find another respite. King's Note 1. At long last, the abominable lord of the Blighted Lands has been purified. I am beside myself with rapt relief. The Blighted have tormented us for many long years, but now I control them. Tied as my hands were, I had no choice but to afflict my subjects to deal with those damnable wretches. Now their power is in my hands. So he afflicted his own people in order to deal with the ancient Blighted Lord, I guess. Our new spirit started at level 4. I'm going to put him on just so that we can try him out. 
but I'm not sure that I'm going to like him. We'll find out. Could that be the throne room ahead? Okay, this, that's big. Let's go into the throne room, I guess. The King of Land's End. Has been killed. By somebody. He's got swords sticking out of his body, but he still has his crown on, so you know he's the king. Knight- oh, Julius! Ho ho, we've heard a lot about you. Honier. Honier was your uncle, if I recall correctly. So far, this battle is going just fine, but we're at the beginning of it, so don't get too complacent. Eventually, this is going to get very hard. I believe. Come at me. Good. Kind of figured out his first his first phase very quickly, but it's only the first phase, and he's got a ton of life. See how much damage we're actually doing him compared to his total life? And we're hitting him a lot. So future phases are going to be very hard, just because we can't end the battle very quickly, if nothing else. Still... This phase is going really well. And stunning him is apparently very good. Oh, we made it to the next phase. Alright, what does he do this phase? He d Oh, that's gotta be the move that we get that destroys breakable stuff on the side. Ho ho, heal. Okay, we just have to know the timing of that move. We can dodge it as long as we know the timing of it. it seems to be fast. But we do have to learn to dodge it, because it can be a really bad attack for us. Switch back. Ooh, he, he has another move that we hadn't seen before. When we are close behind him, he does that little spin attack. Ho ho. Kind of learning the the timing for the one that we need to learn to dodge. So that's good. We've only used one heal. Darn. I'm not yet ready to use another one, but we're getting there. Okay, use that next heal right now. Oh, and we dodged. It was a very questionable dodge, but we did it. Okay. If we get close to him, he does moves that we want him to do, basically. But we don't want to be too close to him during that. <laughs> Alright, heal. We've used another heal. And we haven't made it to the last phase yet. Alright, we dodged that one successfully that time. But it was the first time we dodged that one successfully. Think. I think that was the first time. Darn. You have to have the timing, because you can't get too high. You can't get above it. You have to time the dodge. Which I have not done, except for the one time. Oh no. Next phase. Shoot him. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. We're almost dead. Need to heal. Also, he got a lot faster and he started to have another move that is very dangerous.
Okay. We are completely out of heals. All right, we died. We died the first time. But honestly, I think I did pretty well for the first time. So I feel pretty good about that one. Let's think about spirits that we would use for that fight. I do like my Floral Sorceress, but I don't know that it's doing much. I definitely like the Umbral Knight here. And then... Dark Witch Elaine is probably good. Okay, let's take off the Floral Sorceress. What I want to add here... So this is going to be the, the short range ones. I'm going to put on the Fungal Sorcerer instead. Because he does tend to stand in one spot. So that's the short range. For the long range, Gerard, I think, is way too slow for this battle. What I want for long range is definitely the Western Merchant and Honir. So we've got a long range and a short range. And we're going to try to do the first couple parts with just the short range spirits. I think that would be appropriate. Let's go. The Knight Captain Julius. Bring it on. I'm ready? I don't know if that means I'm going to win, but I'm ready. Knight Captain Julius? This is going very well so far. Whoops. Got hit. But honestly, I got hit by one of his, his weaker attacks. So it's not the worst. We can kind of get a lot of hits in. It's just that we don't deal a whole lot of damage compared to his max health. Good. I wonder if we should have used Gerard here. I don't think the answer is yes, but I'm curious about it. So we stunned him once without going into the next phase. Oh, there we go. Next phase activated. Ah, the timing. Timing was off there. The timing was on there. I, it felt early to me, but it was right. He didn't get into, into the stink. He got into the stink a little bit there. I don't know that the stink is actually helping us that much. Because pulling it off might be a little hard for me. Oh yeah, if I try to go a little bit earlier than I think I should be, it seems like I'm doing the right thing for the timing of that dodge. So it's just a little bit early there, earlier than you think. He left the stink. Darn. The spin attack got me. Oop, that was too early. And we died. I did not expect to die like that. Alright, go back in. Try again. The stink doesn't seem great. Is there something else that I would like instead of the stink? Maybe Gerard, actually. So we've got fast, medium, slow. Fast, medium, slow on the melee attacks is what we've got going. We've got this. One of these times we got this. I kind of think that we'll never use our long range spirits in this fight. Hello, Knight Captain Julius. I am ready for this crazy battle. Let's go. Don't jump that far away. We don't like you that far away. We like you up close and personal. Because, I don't know, you smell pretty. And we like to be near that. Got the first two phases down. It's just your third phase. 
where you can kill me all of a sudden, and I need to be ready to dodge it, that's, that's the problem phase. Come on, Julius. Got hit by him once. We will heal that damage as long as we don't get hit again. Come on, man. Come to the center. I want you in the center. I'm basically using almost entirely my Umbral Knight, because the Umbral Knight attacks very quickly and does a good amount of damage now. He made it to the next phase. Get near him. The only thing that the Umbral Knight doesn't do as well, which is why I really want to mix in some Silva, is it doesn't do damage to the stamina. It doesn't stun him very fast if we just use the Umbral Knight. And stunning him is very nice. Good. We need to see what attack he's doing a little bit more than I am. Okay, we just jumped over that. The dodge was unnecessary, actually. Good, we stunned him. Let's get him to half health. Dodged a little bit early there. Come over here. Thank you. I have a reason for coming over here. I think that if he's on the side, I can avoid the instant death at the beginning of the third phase. So coaxing him onto the side when I'm about to go into the third phase might be a good idea. So, if I'm over here, can I get close enough? Just made it behind him. Just barely made it behind him, but I made it behind him. Okay, get close enough to him. Good. You can stun him. Good. Dodged too soon. That's okay. We did not die. Heal. We need to heal. Alright, we did- we got the heal in. Get close to him. Great. Don't mind getting hit by that a little bit. Getting hit from behind him there is okay. Getting hit there is not great. That's kind of the medium attack that he does. The medium attack does enough damage. Let's heal, just in case. Good. Do one of these. You know, that actually does me damage sometimes when I try that. Ho ho, this is perfect. Stun him, deal him some damage. And then do one of these. And we win! Yes! Defeated the Knight Captain Julius! And I'm pretty sure that we're getting an action from him to destroy breakable walls. I'm sorry, I've only added... Purify him, touch Julius's face. As the kingdom approached oblivion, its subjects became deathless abominations. My brethren fought on until madness consumed them, or the rain did. I managed to stave off the corruption of my mind and found myself in the throne room. My blade held over the king I was meant to protect. He shook and blubbered in exasperation. The priestess and the knights who gave their lives to the kingdom were disposable. This was where the king's obsession with immortality had led us. The king's words, dripping with greed, were the palpable lament of his corrupt heart. It was plain to me as the blood pumping in that heart also flowed through my veins. I too had not fought to protect the kingdom or its people, but my own interests. 
I only wished for him to admit he had been wrong to abandon me. Sure enough, as I held my sword over him, his eyes were fixed only on me. I had been waiting for this, waiting for our eyes to meet for the very first time. And then, assassination. Knight Captain Julius unleashes a series of jabbing attacks with a lance that allows for maximum reach. Advancing thrusts can be made by using this skill while moving sideways. The king's bastard son, after enduring a hard life, he rose through the knightly ranks to get back at his father. His tenacity is unparalleled. And we got the action. Hold. Hold either direction and press RT. After dodging, Knight Captain Julius grabs hold of you and charges forward, allowing a burst of momentum. There we go. So you just have to hold down. Got it. Piercing Spectral Lance. While dashing, use the attack button. The charging strike of Knight Captain Julius's lance can break through pustulant walls. The longer the dash, the more magic builds up within the spear. This, is not, this not only increases attack range and power, but also powers through thicker pustulant walls. Great. Great. That is perfect. That is exactly what we need to collect many, many things in this world. A knight driven from his castle. How much hatred must one be consumed by to kill one's own kin? Well, I mean... Ooh, Blight Throne. Blight Throne for purifying Julius. We finished this room. We've also finished this episode. Let's go out here, save, and depart. Let's see here, save. Let's of course see that we have memories. We've got the Knight Captain Julius and Julius's memories. We have the Julius spirit, which started at level four. And we'll try that out next time. Save and depart. In this episode, I progressed to chapter 8 and level 83. I have a plus 8 next to spirits. That is for collecting two more spirits, both of which started at level 4. I now have so many spirits that I can barely fit both the actions and the spirits on the same screen. We collected the One-Eyed Royal Aegis and the Knight Captain Julius. Defeating Julius also gave me my new achievement and two new actions. One is named Dash, and the other, the Piercing Spectral Lance. I have yet to try them out. I also collected my 30th Amulet Fragment, my 4th Amulet Gem, and my 7th Priestess's Wish. All of those grant me increased survivability. I did collect one new relic, the Spellbound Anklet. This, along with Dash, gives me the increased sideways movement speed that I have been expecting to find for some time now. I do have a detailed tracking sheet with more information, link in the video description, new episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.